Marshall to 10. With a turnover, it's Butler the other way from behind. He had a couple of shots, swiping at the ball. But he... White will curl into the paint. What I like here in this first quarter, he already has five free throw attempts. Caleb Martin with a three. He's out of here in this first quarter. Back in the game for the Heat. One of the biggest legendary, Jimmy Butler, the greatest player from the NBA on his total career history, plays for every other team in the playoffs and for his better careering of his new heights in the All-Star game. But now, his next victim is the Celtics, Jason Tatum. It's all what happens with the Eastern Conference showdown. He never wants to give up. The better fight, the better win. It's all what happens for Jimmy Butler. His new setup goal is to defend it, but how is he all entering his better defensive set? That's the question. They're looking all everywhere trying to find the right moment. The better type, the better moment of Jimmy Butler over the Celtics. Now, Jason Tatum is ready to match things up. Has a lot of things to say for of how he can handle it. I haven't played basketball. In, in, in so long and I'm so passionate and I love the game and I don't do it for any other reason except for to compete and go up against the best to try to prove that I can hang so all my emotion came out at one time was it the right way to do it no but I can't control that when I'm out there competing like that's my love of the game that's raw me me at my finest me at my purest that's what you're gonna get I'm not gonna take it offense it's not personal Jimmy you shouldn't have done that yeah, you, you're probably right. I would have said, I ain't hooped in I don't know how long. I mean, I'm passionate about it. I love the game and I love the win. And that's all I was out there doing was competing, playing hard. Now he has a choice. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, dynamic duos of the Boston Celtics. From Al Horford, from other players of each teams, is a hard must. The contest is everywhere in between. You can definitely know that, that this is the toughest team ever. The better rebounding, it's a better dynamic news. Each competition, showdown is a must. They don't want to go home, right? Those NBA players, they're extremely good. This is a playoff. Uh, so that, that game is the toughest. Uh, it's the most fun, too. Hey, we, we missed bunnies all night. Uh, you know, I knew we were due for one, so that was a big time shot. You know, I feel comfortable doing it, but I think, uh, you know, for myself and for the team, everybody, you know, being open minded and, and willing to, uh, you know, check off all the boxes, I think that's special. Um, and, you know, nobody, you know, from top to bottom, everybody's willing to do that. So, um, you know, I think that's special to, that we have a group like that. I mean, you know, through my, throughout my career, I've been a part of some uh, big games, regular season, um, postseason. I've been a part of some tough losses. Um, so I think, you know, thus far, I understand right how to stay level-headed um, through the good times and the bad, you know, regular season and postseason. Um, but the snow didn't help me. I'm not a fan of the snow. But it's a hard matchup right in between the alley. You know, Derek White, but definitely on the occasion of Caleb Martin, it's a hard one to take over from a shot. But the better angle is, it's a hard drive. It can never be slowing down right to those two. Sometimes, Al Horford, the better message for the legendary player, has a big world to make a news out of from Jason Tatum. Somebody like Al, Al is willing to do everything, and somebody at this at that stage of his career, um, I think that really sets the tone. And you know, the rest, rest of the guys kind of follow that. The bigger message is that it has to be with the Celtics and the Heat. It's a battle take on in between the Eastern Conference showdown. Since 2020 was the last one in the pandemic, then it happened again in 2022 that the Celtics beat over the Heat in the number one spot. 
but it was no joke. The easier way it happens with in between the back-to-back -back scores happened to be a lot harder than they think. They have no way that they can try to protect him from in between. And for the last postseason with the upset against the Celtics. But there might be another way to keep that going. Of course, we miss Marcus Smart and the other side with Robert Williams. But the great thing is, the new substitution for recruiters are coming in to help them out. With Drew Holiday in point guard and Kristaps Porzingis from the Washington Wizards. They are happy enough to help them out and definitely play on court with each other. So whenever you're thinking about how to beat around the point, when I ask you, is this water? And you say, well, it's not through punch. Like, well, obviously, but you know that the answer is water. And that's what always going on. Back-to-back -back scores, not a possible chance. He said, we can't let our shot making affect our physicality and our defensive effort. Against the zone, we have to make quicker passes and be better specifically against the switches, guys. My teammates, they need me to be that way right now. I will continue to be that way right now. Um, whatever it takes to win, it could be 40, it could be 50, it could be zero and 12 assists. I got to be able to do it all. I'm going to play with my daughter, man. I love her to death. I miss her. I've been away for a very long time. We're going to get ice cream. We're going to the park. We're doing a lot of different stuff. This is where it's going to happen. There will be a bigger difference in between the range of Jason Tatum and Jimmy Butler. No contest, no takes, and this is a hard matches. Whoever gets to the finals, it's going to be on the 101 in between the zones of the top players of a legendary. And this is no joke, because if they do, they're going to get this one done straight and go with the victory plan. That's the hard key. For the White Heat playoffs, they have been good doing a lot of blocks in between the other teams, but not for long as Derek White able to answer it in Game 6 last postseason. It was no joke that this was a close call range in the backcourt and count the bucket in. But hey, it's going to be a great matchup between Boston and Miami, White Heat playoff and Bleed Green playoffs. This is going to be a one biggest show that you will ever see between the two. Heat Celtics next on 2K Sports. Hey everybody, it's Son of Peace, and I am here with my broadcasting partner with an only look that you will have it all. It's DJ Beast, and he's ready to bring things on for Game 6, Docs Roy. Hey, we're ready to show how it is. This is where it comes down to this. Win or bring or go home for Boston Celtics, the number one CFT. This could be it. All the change-up will be happening to go with in between the reality. And of course, I have this Cobra. She was here on the pregame show. 
Great shot, it's done. You ready for this one? Yes, I am. I'm really sure enough I get the boss and tell them I might be coming back in here. So I think you're going to be a chance to have a better record. And now for the next commentary I will have is, is Terry Crews. And he's also along with Roy Crews. And for the first commentary of the crew is Wood Spooning. That will be all three at once. And Ali LaForce will be tonight's game cyber, court side reporter of game six. This is it. Win or go home for Boston Celtics. Let's find out. If there's a little moment for the wild man. Let's get going. Heat Celtics on the game. Here we are the Boston Celtics. And here we are right now. As we're ready to see how they can do. And for the previous little third quarter and they for a locker room to get ready. It's the NBA, it's the NBA Conference, Conference Finals on 2K Sports. This is Terry Crews, and I am here at Roy Cruz and Wood Spooney. Out of the force on our sports side. This is Game 6. Win or go home for Boston Celtics. The last part of the group right in between in the alley. And we have a lot of fans that are supporting in between at the Cassette Center. It's great right now as we're waiting to see how this is going to happen. And this is what the game is. They don't really have to encounter right now because they're playing it really well. And all that plays in right now is going to be a one challenging angle. Let's hope that they can win it. We start off. Keith wins the tip off. And we are ready for game six. Let's find out if there's another great bucket made. Hero starts things over with a try. And this one will put it up for Tyler Hero. No one will be his first bucket in the game. You can't play it from here, but Tyler Hero has it all down. Here's Hero. And it's right on Holiday. It's right from the outside for three. Misses on the target at the angle. And on Ohio has a gun in for his first chance at ability with his first three pointer in the last game. And now he's looking his way to get his own rebound and get a rejection. All needs to be happening right now for Bam and Ohio. He is really like trying to get older and a struggle. It has to be like a great way to make, make his appearances to have that one all coming in. I know it's not always easy for Bam and Ohio, but he's going to try to keep what he can do to get through here. A great bucket made here for for him and Ice Web, and they're really expecting to play for. Jason Tatum. Got the airway going in. Here's Rogier. He has the ball right now. In front of seven minutes remaining. The bats are right now fighting Hero. Hero gives it over now to Highsmith. Highsmith gives it over now to Hero. Rogier for the triple. It goes in. First three pointer. But today for Ty Green, Rogier. That'll be the first three pointer of the night. Oh, look at how this is happening. I say that Tyree Rogier must have got that one with the start of it to get through here. Without Kyle Lowry. And a great try for Ty Drew Holiday. That's his first bucket. Making a range in there on the better side of the angle. And they're trying to look it in. Rogier now has the pass to Jimmy Butler. Butler swings it over now to Rogier. And Butler wants to get something in there around Brown. And he's fouled. That's his first foul for Jalen Brown. With 6.05 to go. That will be his first team foul for Boston. And this is not what it's going to take in there because that is really what they're all expecting right now for Jimmy Butler to make them bucket two. That's not going to happen right now, especially. They got to keep it going. Not what I always say, it's just what they can't do. They don't really want to mess things up. They've got to try to let Jimmy Butler do the work. First free throw coming up for Jimmy Butler with 6.05 to go for Miami free throw line. Butler hits the first free throw. You know what I expect for Jimmy Butler to be playing for? They all disagree on him. They never really wanted to leave him alone. He wants to play for his own better life because he has a better range in between a LeBron James and this guy, right in between Joel and me. It's not what they all expected to play easy enough, but this was no option. I don't know what's going to keep on going there now, but I have been saying that LeBron James is just really wanting to play for Miami Heights. He played the back in the year in 2013. That was the last one of the game he their later team win the MAA Finals against the other team of the OKC Thunders. 
That was their option. I don't know if it's going to keep on going or not, but they already expected that they wanted to get rid of Jimmy Butler for good. They're saying, no, 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 it's Jimmy Butler is my favorite buckets out there. But they are saying there's a lot of comebacks in the switches, but they got to watch out for that. Here's Jimmy Butler, now finds that he hit a hero. Hero, we're going to have two, step up, and no good. He's missing everywhere right now, but Jimmy Butler was trying to get it in there, but there's no other competition out there. But they're really going to stick it now. Playing it for real, they've got to get that one through. Here's an arrow for Iceman, and he announces it again to Jimmy Butler. Here's Hero for the three. Come on! From the outside range, he has five points in the game. Here's Sure Holiday, right the pass to White, and makes the drive. Derek White with his first bucket. Remember how it happened with the last postseason? It had to be Derek White making the buzz beater in game six. Yes, it's definitely what everybody's been doing it for. As you can say for Derek White, he's been like trying to get that one over. The repetition is not always easier enough, but they don't expect now to play it like that. I know it's not always easier than to let him do, but that needs to make the repetition on the start list on his better chance. Time out call by Boston Celtics. After the bucket for Jimmy Butler, he wants it all. I always expect now, Jimmy Butler has been doing really on his better position. They're really expecting now to have it all playing in there. A good one always comes in for Eric Spolstra. He's been one of the best cut coaches this year in Miami Heat. I always say now, they're ready to bring their team up to the finals, so I think that the Heat and the Mavericks are going to be a great special kid teams in for the last postseason of 2024 NBA Finals for 2K24. My bang, I'm thinking that this one's going to be a great matchup between the 5th seed against the 7th seed. Let's make it happen. Make it clear, make it all go. Taking tackers. And now they're ready to take them on the board. Derek White now has the number to Drew Holiday. Holiday right toward the end in the middle. Off the pass. Tatum for three. That's good stuff. And Tatum gets on an angle. Jimmy Butler with the rebound. He has his third. Gives it up down that ice man. Ice man gives it now over now to Jimmy Butler. Go over Derek White. Got it. To Jimmy Butler with his. Third bucket, and it's Highsmith with the assist. Don't let it keep on coming out because if I were Highsmith, it's really like all that pressure in there. Gotta get that one for real on the go. Derek White on the cover for Tyler Hero. Brown with the cut step for the two. And you got it by Pamela Bio. Jason Tatum in trouble for an arch hit. That's two in a row. Here comes Hero. Passes now to Terry Lucier with a shot chance at the Butler. That is off the corner and gets a rebound again. Hero with nobody around. That's off the three-pointer line. We're a chance at for here. And you know what happened right now for Bam on the He's like scoring it out. Because the last point of the game, he didn't really think he was going to have enough time to have that walking shot ever. Now he's always saying right now, because if Bam on the Bayer, he has that one with a great blocking effort. This one is really going to take all the credit effort, and you got to give that one a good, real playoff of the game. That's what it's postseason. Playoffs is everything. That's right key in the game. Now, number two, miss. Bam on the has the number again to Terry Rogier. Rogier now finds Hero for the triple. Got it! That's two three pointers of a night. Hero with eight points. Here's Drew Holiday on the pass, and Tatum slams it down. That big, quick pet pass goes again to Drew Holiday. Well, their scoring is now is no option. I don't know what's going to keep on living it in there, but they have no idea what's going on. I Smith right toward Bernie outside, and he finds Jimmy Butler. Give it over again to Terry Rogier. 
He now has it over to Bam Adebayo. The step back for the two. That's missed. That rebound won't put back in for Terry Rozier. Here's a chance now, and White up and away. No good for the two. Down to two minutes in the first of the quarter. Gets it off to Muller. Gives again to Rozier. And now has it now over to Heisman. Heisman trying to get it over. The shot. Got it off in time, but didn't make that one go away. Well, he's not scoring in perfect right now. I mean, that's going to be like a hard one to take. The layup won't set it in, and he'll put it back in there for number two. Timeout remained on Miami Heat with 1.39 to go in the first. Yeah, they got to tuck it over right now. They're scoring him. They're losing their track right now. They're going to see what they can do to get a full heater. I think Bernie might be another takeover here with the best mascot tonight. Do you think this is going to be a great take effort for you guys? Well, I'm not really sure, but Bernie, I was really noticing that they all really are expecting right now. This is because the heat of the playoffs, they really are expecting to go loud. I don't know whether it's going to happen now, but they are expecting that, that they really wanted to choose their effort. I'm hoping there might be a great way to have a good look at the opportunity range, but, well, I guess there might be a downward ever, so let's hope there is. I think that might be a little bit of change off anyway, so I'm not even going to answer that one, but all that question out there it might be a little bit off the target of the idol, and I'm really sure enough that they may have to do something a little bit different here to get right from the directional. To go right in between, if there's another tank, in between the height or the sentence. That might be a big question on the offensive side, but I'll find out if there is, Rhea. Offensive substitution on the court as we're ready to bring things up. Hawkins Jr. is checked on the court and he is with Jovic. Caleb Martin is on the court right now and he is with Duncan Robinson. The Celtics are making their changes here. Bridges on the court. He's with Sam Hauser. And it's Tillman Senior with Al Horker. Robinson now finds again to Caleb Martin. Martin with the finishing cut. That one was off the target, and that was a great D by Al Horker. Nothing to take over now for Al Horker, but that's his better message to have it in there. Here's Holiday right toward him in the middle. And then up in the drive. That one was too loose. And a better effort chance here for our Holiday. He has a number two. With one minute to go, here's an Arte. Right. Now is it over now to Robinson. Gives it over again to Martin. Hawkins is right toward the corner. No chance here. Finds Martin. The screen will play it up for Hawkins. Over with the tape. Here's a two. Chance effort in. Go get it back. Finding Hawkins for the three. Triple range, no good. The rebound puts it in for Al Hooper. Here's another take for Al Drew Holiday. Holiday trying to move it around. Make it up across. The step back. Looks to Hauser. The pass to Tillman Sr. Gets to Holiday. Holiday trying to roll it in. Step back for two. It's up and good. They are back down by two. Racing it in now to have the finishing end of the first quarter. And here's another one. Robinson. A chance for a buzz beater. It's good! What a finish for Duncan Robinson. That's how you ended off the first. Not a chance tough one out there. That needs to be a better take than that. What an excellent chance. I know that Duncan Robinson was going to let it finish. Great so far. The first quarter comes to an end. It's a 21 to 17. Back to back scores, and we'll be right back with you for the second. And if you're just joining us, we're ready to start the second quarter of the game. It's a tight battle that arranged for the Heat trying to advance themselves to the finals for the first time on the underdog team. Do you think this will be possible enough? Well, maybe possible enough in another chance at work, but they can play like they all have done it again. And not for anybody else who has been scoring the, uh, the bigger chances right now. They are really are expecting to play it like they did. Well, there might be what they do. Let's hope there is a win or two. 
for the start of the second quarter. We're ready to have that one all pressured in. Pritchard is with Sam Hauser. He's along with Al Horford and Derek White right toward the inside. And he walks in the middle of the range and on the other side for the heat. Gilbert is with right now with the other side of it of DeLon Wright. Richardson is with Hawkins Jr. And Robinson right towards serving guard position. The pass over now finds Richardson. Richardson with a chance for two. Got it to go. Richardson with his first bucket of the game. 23 to 17 to score in the second. Here's Richard on right. White with it now. Who's it in? I'm going to take and foul. Bucket one. Derek White. That races it in now as he always with the foul. Well, you don't play like you do it for real, and that's what Young is just trying to do. Get that out of here. And it's right now with a new substitution on Tatum and Brown are checked back in. Hauser couldn't get the finish off in time, but this is okay for him because they're letting the team get back into it. Butler and Alabama are checked back in. One shot for Derek White. White makes a free throw. Celtics show by three. Butler now finding his way down again to Richardson. He has it now to Bay on a bio. On a bio. A set bomb and makes a dry cut. On a bio in his first bucket. 25 to 20 to score. They're up by five. Here's Tatum. Tatum gives it over now to Preacher. He now has it to Brown. Gives it over to White. White trying to make his way across in there. With no answer, he finds Tatum. Butler on a cover. The screen for Wolfer. Here's a take. Oh, Jason Tatum. Makes a slam down. Trying to hush that crowd in Kaseya Center. Oh, I don't know what to do now. I think they had to say that Jason Tatum is already like slamming it in there, but that is what they all don't do. He really was expecting that they ain't going to change it up anyway. Can't let that happen. They'd be messing over on anybody. Butler. He's way down. Now finds it again to Richardson. A chance for a two. And that one will we'll take it in there. Tatum with a rebound. Now back and over. Finds White. Way up. Unable to make the finish. Robinson now finds the long right. The pass over. Now finding Robinson. Robinson gets it over now to Richardson. Richardson makes a cut. Lost the effort. It goes back again to the long right. Over now to Richardson. Moving the ball back and forth for Bam Adebayo. Over to Al Horford for the two. Nice D by Al Horford. Jason Tatum back in the airway. The pass. Pritchard for nobody around. Got it. That one will put it in for a number two pointer. And Jason Tatum with the assist. You don't play it up there in my long and you know you don't you don't just try to like let it show it off. That is what everybody is trying to consume for. They don't play it like that, that's what they need to do with the time. He finds Butler. Robinson with the screen. The finish. The cutting bound with the drive. He's got it! Butler with eight points in the game. It's a 27-24 game. Really score big out there. Jason Taylor might need to do something else there. Here's a two, and that misses again. Bam on Ohio with the rebound. Finds Stevie Butler. With a finish, he's fouled. Derek White with his first personal. And an RT foul for Boston. With 4.41 to go in the second. Jimmy Walker. Jimmy Walker. Jimmy Walker. Butler makes the first free throw. Auburn group of substitution now 40, Celtics and the Heat. That's right now as Corporate's checked out, as Porzingis is checked in. The Heat are making new changes here. Couple players are checked out. That's right now, Gaywood Highsmith is checked back on the court with Tyler Hero and Jimmy Butler moving over to small four position. Good for the second free throw. Here's a chance for 
for Jason Tatum. Watching his way to Peyton Pritchard. Off the ground for the triple. Off the rim. And it's rebounded by Haywood Highsmith. They're scoring. Not always making a chance effort out there, but they're playing like they don't know how they can definitely throw a rebound. But that is a definite typical play decision making. We don't have another take time in. Hero gives it out to Butler. Butler with a chance over to Manabayo. Over to Porzingis. That's another good two pointer good for Manabayo. He has a nerve of his rings to keep that in. They don't really stand a chance now. I don't know what they do, but they really have to play a big. And their seal for the Heat. Here's right. Butler for the two. Oh, and he's fouled. Derek White just can't believe it. That one was another foul for the Celtics. Well, this is what they don't do. You have to foul that one good quickly. And that Jimmy Butler was already open enough wide away. But what happened is that for Jimmy Butler, Derek White got that pressure in with a high on the side. He had caught off his hand, that's not going to turn it over, they made that easy look in the challenge. Another free throw coming up for the Jimmy Butler with 3.48 to go. Oh, uh, that is just not even crazy in that I, I don't know what's going to keep on going. They really don't just play it like that. I mean, that is just going to like stop that pressure in there for the Sultans to get up into it. The long right's checked out as now Terry Rozier will check back on the court with 3.48 to go. First half almost done with the completion as we're ready to stab the halftime show that will be on its way soon, coming up in just a bit. With along with the all three of the commentators, as I have is in between the zones, from Shag, Ernie, and Kenny, on in between for the first count statistics in between. That's here next after this. Timeout call by Boston Celtics with 344 left to go. In the second. We'll have some little bit of a quick break time possession and we'll get back onto you soon. Let's show how it's done. How are they play on finish game six? Welcome back as we're ready to get this way in here, finishing up for the first half of the game. Porzingis now finds Jason Tate. And Brown is on Jimmy Butler. Watching in for Jalen Jason Tatum. Back his way. Brown fading the shot. Finding White. Towards the corner, finding maybe Porzingis. And Porzingis with an R2 point. And this one's assisted by White. This one really is never going to change up there right now. I mean, I don't know what's going to keep it going, but they really are expecting to make it clean. Finds here. Looks it over now to Bayon. Now to Iowa. Got a drive. Got another two pointer. He has six points. Hero with the assist. This one really needs to have that one. A better check in the percentage out there. Paramount of Iowa needs to have that one all cleared out to get through. The boy of an alley with force. This one is really what they're expecting. Return White had it to be a clean look to get right from it. The spreading of message has to be this. This is what I don't take a lot of percentage of this. I don't stay the truth, but it hurts more when I play against the other teams that are really competitive enough, especially the Sixers. There are no way to make an answer to question of how this is going to happen. Playing in his life was too much for him, had no idea what he will do. And a better percentage right now is for Derek White. He's really like trying to get all his all in all ability. I mean, no, not even a chance ever, but they don't really play like that. And this doesn't really turn anybody else. You make that one turn over. And playing for real, it doesn't mean that like, they've got to keep that one in there on their own zones. they got to keep that out of the way. Foul called on Jason Tatum. Now that will be on Highsmith. That's his first personal nerve team foul for Miami. Tatum at the free throw line, shooting two with 2.20 to go. Free throw for Jason Tatum. Now for the new substitution is Sam Hauser. Check back in for the Celtics for Jalen Brown. And the Heat are making the new changes up here too. I'll get Senior checked in and is along with Jovic on the in between a point forward and center. The second free throw good for Jalen Brown. Jason Tatum. 
heroes have the air away. Their team is trailing by five for the Celtics. Butler. Over to Sam Houser to cut and move. Nice take for Jimmy Butler. That's another two pointers. 14. We are down to two minutes remaining in the first half. White. Over now to get over in. All for Arcus Jr. Now they back. Tatum for three. Able to sink the triple. This one keeps it a close game down by four. Yes, you know what's going to happen for Jason Tatum. He's going to get keeping on scoring out there. So many here, man. Oh, yeah, they better got to do it. Rogier to third, now finding Derek Jimmy Butler. Over now to Terry Rogier. Give again to Butler. Butler, swinging it over, finding Hot Gas for three. Got it! Knocking down the triple, puts it in for Jamie, Jamie, Hot Gas Jr. That's a three point put. Jimmy Butler with the assist. Jason Tatum can't get another three pointer. The finishing set with a minute to go in a second. He finds down to Rogier. Rogier gives it over to Hawkins Jr. He finds the pass over, not finding Hero. Hero, fade shot. Over for two. Gets it to go. Hero with another two point. That's ten points in a game. They really don't stand a chance now for Jerry Jimmy Hawkins Jr. as he has an air weapon tower. Hero, I was able to see it now. I mean, he's like carrying him hit. What? It's just the other way. Goes in reverse with a layup. 42 35 to score. As the one right trying to let Terry Rozier do the job. Back to Butler. Butler gives it over now to Jovic. Goes for a back step. Back to over to get a Rozier. Great ball. Great ball to win for the Heat. Get it to go. Hot kicks. Junior with number two. He's got another takeoff for the Heat. That's five points from Tyler Hero. Tatum for three. That's another miss by Boston. And Rozier will able to close it out the first half. Man, this has been a tightness in the game. And we are ready for halftime. 44 to 35 to score. We got a chance now to see if the Celtics can try to enter it back. And time for a quick break. Be back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ray Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. Big time play throughout the first half for Jimmy Butler. He had 14 points, 3 assists, and 1 block. He didn't perform up to his standards in their last game. Tonight, a different story. He obviously has a short memory. Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench. But I would especially for the reason he's taking a lot of pressure off this time. What a luxury to have a second in the Heat. And over to Kenny, what did you think about Boston? Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys were getting burned on the ground. They went for the hand up, 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 hand down, hand down. Oh, you gotta get him some help. That pretty much covers everything. Shot. You think they played their best? No way, no way. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye. Goodbye. Get it. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to the Caseya Center. We're ready to start the third quarter of the game. All the staff for Jimmy Butler has been scoring it for the last game. But this game is going to be a much different comparison than he has. 14 points with one block. All better game effort. Let's see how he runs. All better chance effort. I think that Jimmy Butler is going to keep on running. Let's see what they do. And we're ready to start the third quarter. Two down, two to go. On the start for the court for the Boston Celtics, we have across here is Brown. From the other side is Derek White. Porzingis sort of center. Jason Tatum at ball point four. And finally we have his Drew Holiday. For the Heat, we have Miss Terry Rogier. He's along with Jimmy Butler. Tyler Hero right toward a shot, shooting guard position. And it's Sly Smith right toward the outside of his own. And Bam on the bio right toward the center. 
Here's Butler for a three-pointer. Doesn't start out big, but he has a roll rebound for Bam Adebayo. Now he will have another chance to hear it. Give off to Butler. Watching the play inbound, finding Rozier. A take for two. Got it. Rozier with five points. They're really pushing his way up four. Hero. Looks his way. Another uh, white shot. Nice steam by Tyler Hero. That's his third rebound of the night. You don't take an effort seriously, but that is what he always really got to do. Very chance effort now for Tyler Hero. He is trying to let that defender get by. Looks his way to Jimmy Butler. And gets a number two. That is 14 to 16 points in a game. 48 to 37 to score. Look at the crowd fan quiet. Nice takeover for Highsmith. That will be a second rebound. You know, never type here. It doesn't mean not. everybody is that good. They don't really expect now to play it like that. But they don't let that be out fooling by anybody they can pay. Rozier, number two. Got it. That's seven points for Terry Rozier third. He is really moving it up the third of the quarter, and he is just not getting himself on fire. The changeup. Finds again to Tatum. Chris that force gets with the screen. Looking for spin move. Fade shot goes. Jason Tatum with a number two. That's 13 points for the night. They don't really expect now for Jason Tatum. They are really up lining up. Go back to back from the insane scores. They don't want this to get in the way. And stolen by Brown. Here comes Holiday. Chance to play. Three for White. That's off the range and it's rebounded by Anabaya. Over now to Hero. Gives it back to Anabaya. Now moves it up. Jimmy Butler for the three corner. That's no good. Missing another one again as they are trying to get it back. And it's blocked by Anabaya. Numbers three in a row for Bam. Oh, don't tell him I'm not. He's blocking this again. Not the choice he wants. Back it over to Terry Rozier, the butler. Jason Tatum with it now. The pass, the Bam Adebayo. We're going to take over to Cook. Adebayo with eight points. Under five minutes remaining. You don't stand a chance now for Bam Adebayo because after that block, he is just putting in there to make the layup. Got him to go. Timeout called by Boston Celtics with under five minutes remaining in the third. Getting ready for some new changes here to get right on in. <laughs> The NBA Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by Starry Lines. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Wildcats. Bear of it has it all. The name hero is the better hero to be. Now I know they're really expecting right now, but tell you he has been like that. A great play of this game. When you all have to say for Tyler Hero, he is definitely like a best one ever. Yeah, it's extremely exactly the same thing. I have a great better range than not. Tyler Hero is one of the biggest. And he's been awarded for rookie player of the year in 29 times. I really expect it, but they are really are banging this one a great percentage of it. He's playing it really well. I'm betting on he can do this one again. Down to five on the shot clock. Got to get over to Robinson. Chance for the setback. And that's off the rim, and it's rebounded by Tillman Sr. 
You just push it, right toward the middle, cover it up, find Whooper. And Holiday right toward the outside. Passing over to Pritchard. Pritchard can't get a move on. The screen for Horper. Here's the take. Oh, high snap. What a shot block. And it turns over to the knee ball. Now that's a back off. Swipe that out again. No more answers to that, Boston. As Sam Houser's checked in, as Brown has moves over to screen guard. You know, what a great pressure effort out there. I love that. Hayward Ice Move is making it win for that great rejection out there. That's where he's starting up that. That bigger is a change off to make it anybody with the ability chance. I know he's been really like pushing it in there, but that's all you can definitely do. Just play it like you do. Robinson now finds Heisman. Five to shoot. Here's Heisman. That first bucket won't take it in there. Brown. On Caleb Martin. Off to Hauser. And on a bio with on it. Take over for two. That's another miss. The rebound went up for Pritchard. That's no good. Third chance. Got it. Never take over for J for Peyton Pritchard. That's right now with only three minutes and third. Stepping it back. Now finds Heisman. Looks it over. Callie Martin for three. Come on. Martin just got it through. 55 41. You don't say sorry, you don't say why. What is up at the point? Callie Martin just made this one in a great three point. Brown, cutting back to Horker, fades. Here's a three for Bowser. That's off the win. Another miss by Boston. You don't shoot that good often out there. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with that. Highsmith give it over again to Martin. Martin looks it up in the center. Find again to Rogier. The better play of the effort, finding Highsmith. Here's a cut for two. That's another miss by Miami. Two minutes to go in the third. Hauser, right toward the outside, gives it again to Pritchard. Now finds Hauser. The pass over to Brown for three. Good! They are all over the place. They're down by 11. Timeout on Miami Heat. With under two minutes in the third. Listen to this one. Jalen Brown is trying to hush his crowd right now. And if you say a center, they are not really expecting I would not be amused if they are putting in strong effort. Big train off is not that important, but they really need to do something else that big train off. With the next game up coming right now, going back into the NHL, as we have is the Stars missing against the Canucks in game six. Really like a close call on the range out there. But they really expect it now. They've got to play in for something else to get from here. But hopefully by now, They'll try to find out what they can do to get it from here. Now, I know you are all expecting for Tyler Hewer to play it for real, but how is this playing out there? He played for one year with his better play playing effort, and he is maybe one of the names all rookie second team in 2020. And it's very interesting season. He has made his way to the NBA Finals, and he was named his NBA Sixth Man of the Year in 2022. He played both of them, between point guard and shooting guard. They really are now noticing that he has been definitely playing it on his best performance ever. Time just to make that one clear for Tom Aguero. He has been playing it on his professional career, on his better work for Benedict, to get all he wanted. Now he's ready to do more. Let's see what he can do. New line group substitution as Brown and Hauser are checked out. Now it's me back in his holiday. As right now Brown moves over to strong small four. Big key are making any changes as Roshi is checked out. As Richardson, Akis Jr. and Yobes are checked in. Martin, over to Al Horford. That strong drive won't pick it up. Down to 90 seconds in the third. And he now finds Pritchard. Pritchard in the middle. Reaching foul on Akis Jr. with his first. Nearing a one minute mark to the third. 55 44 is the score. They still need to find their way to get right into work. The play resumes as Bridges is in the corner. Screen. Right toward the middle. Over again. The alley oop went unsuccessful out there. Holiday. No chance to go. 
Hey, got the three. Just made it easier now with the 55-47 game. Not just a better way to take over now, but all Drew Holiday didn't really stand it out there being sacks. Now Piney again to Martin. Martin swings again to Robinson. Robinson trying to look it over. And Richardson wanted to give up a three. And he doesn't hate the answer again. That's another miss by Miami. Drew Holiday on Hawkins Jr. Brown on Martin. And towards corner. Tiny to back up. Fate. Layup. Good. Jalen Brown with another two pointer. Martin trying to get over in between his gaps of the zone. 55 49 to score, down to 20 seconds. Robinson right toward the wing. Gives it over to Martin. Martin feeling it out a little bit. Nice ball moving for Miami. Five to shoot. Robinson able to take that one in. Got it to go. That one will be another two point bucket. He has a second bucket of the night. Down to five to shoot. Up for two. The three pointer misses. No chance but that is the end of the third. 57 49 to score. Miami Heat looking for a chance to win this game and move on to the finals for one last time in the postseason. It's all for anything. Winner go home for Boston with a last chance. Be right back after these messages. One to go. This is the fourth quarter. Ready to start. Miami Heat has been one of the better ones to take over in the underdog team. And now we are ready to go. With the last group in between for Miami. Tyler Hero, he is with Dylan Wright. Adebayo is with Jimmy Butler and Hawkins Jr. Right at one four. And for the Celtics, we have his Al Horford with Derek White. And it's Hauser right over in, right towards the middle. Sorry, we have Porzingis and Twitter. Will never take it from the other side. And it's Drew Holiday with the point guard. You say what happens now for Tyler Hero, he may be out with a great drive and his professional effort. That's a takeover with the key. Tatum, right toward the corner on Jimmy Butler. Step up for two. That's an arm by Boston Celtics. Hawkins Jr. will make it his way with his first rebound of the night. Tries to slow it down. The long right to Jimmy Butler. Around Holmberg. Oh, I don't think there wasn't a foul out there. That must have been a clean look. A clean defense. Well, they should have just challenged that way, and they really are expecting it to be on play. Oh my god. Duality finds a pass to Warford. And White. The screen on Pussy gets. For two, and he's fouled. DeLon Wright with his first personal. With only 2.9 seconds on a shot clock, Derek Wright at the free throw line shooting two. Yeah, that's just not good how it happens. DeLon Wright was trying to let that one go with a heavy contest shot. This is not turning out there really well, and they really are expecting that. And Derek Wright was trying to push his way. But that body contact, that's going to keep him out for real. Free throw coming up for Boston Celtics with under seven minutes remaining in the fourth. Trying to extend back in, down by eight. White gets the first free throw. And now the new changeup comes in for Rozier to check in for Wright. He's on the bench and back to a starting five to get oh, almost a starting five. But Akis Jr. stays on the court. Good for the second free throw. Boston trailing by eight. Here's Gurgia. Finds Hawkins Jr. With a takeover for two. That one goes in and out. Jason Tatum sprinting his way down right towards the other way. Slides it back. It's over now to Porzingis. Holiday on Jimmy Butler. Here's an R2, and he gets it to go. They're back down by six. There's is going to get a close game to bake a feeling out of it to make it more doubtful in their mind. Not what they do for stories, that's what they always have to do. Let them be out there like they did. 
Jimmy Butler now has it over now to Adebayo. He has it over now to Jimmy Butler. Here's Hero for the three. That's off the rim. Walker with the rebound again to Holiday. And here's Tatum with the drive after it in between. Last that one. Butler back the other way. Looks over to Mojia. Butler gets it out to Hero for another chance for three. Another miss by Miami. What's happened out there, Jared Tyler Hero? You gotta try and make it work out there. Tatum trying to get over it, but the foul didn't call that one. Looks over to Hawkins Jr. Hawkins gets it over now to Hero. Hero makes a switch. Stolen by Bertigas. Tatum against Butler. Here comes the tape. Tatum for two. That's a very miss. Great D by Jimmy Butler. You know, scoring's not always an easier way, but they are just making this one a lot better takes. I mean, no one is going to get that one offensively, but they don't want that to get out of the way. Get through. Jimmy Butler's trying to like stop them, slowing down. Butler for the triple. It's up and good. Jimmy Butler with 19 points. It's a 62 53 game. Timeout called by Boston Celtics. Racing in now to the final side because it's going to be a one epic journey. What did I say? It's ranking time. We got some quick break out there. We'll get right to you soon. After this, Jimmy Butler, making a three, no problem. Got lucky. Great chance. to another takeover. Another takeover look as reporter Allie LaForce. She's talked to one of his head coach right now for Eric Spolcha. This one was better to be an Asian head coach of the year. Playing it for so long here, made your way to the NBA Finals the last couple season. And it was all that happened now to keep adding here most of his better career season after. You know, final ways are right now is for Eric Spolcha. He's really getting his own look and comfortable position and I always say he has. That we you know where Eric Spolstra, this needs to keep that one in there for a great racing to speed off to the playoffs possession after finishing the completion of a regular season. This needs to be a nice tight goal that he gets to make. And for a team, they got to try to make that one in there to get some good pressure at I say so, that's what I know for Eric Spolstra. Got to give that one all crying down. Three for Tina. That's good. To the best the other way it goes in. It's 64, the 58th game. Rozier trying to take some more time, let the clock down, wind down. He now has it over to Highsmith. Fades, looks to Rozier, up there, and this one is fouled. No rejection to make it clean. That's on Drew Holiday. Yes, that's definitely going to be an ouch right there. You see that high fade? This one gets it over to Rozier, and he's going to finish the layup in there, and that's just like not so good at all. I mean, that one is just going to hurt that call. They really are never expecting what they are playing it on the bad defensive effort. But that's what you already done. You made a little mistake of it too much. Don't take the any rate any way from him. Free throw up for Terry Rozier. That's another good take for Terry Rozier. Tams out and Browns check back in. Al Orford was still staying on with him. Jason Tatum still trying to rest him down right now before he makes his way to get down right toward a wire in the fourth. He makes his second free throw. Here's Holiday. Holiday watching his way up now finds White. Hero with the ball. Looking his way, Derek White. For the finish, oh, two get a dunk made that one down. Slamming it quickly, and they that back down by six. Oh, what's the bigger day out there? Derek White slamming it down? I mean, come on, man. Don't let them be out there too uh, much. Box to Giro, right to him, and away. Gives it over now to Rozier. Up again, makes it in. Rozier has it over one to take in. And a timeout called by Miami. 
No, Boston Celtics are under three minutes to go. They're just already been like, keep me that fucking team is so long. I have no idea what they can do, but that's just like unbelievable. They play it like that all the time. And just how you know that they really are having a lot of fun. I think the Heat and the, and the Mavericks are going to be a great team matchups. We'll see if the Boston Celtics can keep it alive at that point. After this game, we'll be sending you over to the post-game show. Right now in my other groups, right now with DJ Beast and Center Beast and Clover. What do you think about how this game went? Well, I think this was a very excellent and exciting this matchup. I was hoping that Miami Heat would be able to take another team upset. I think that underdog team is going to, like, roll it in right now. So we'll keep an eye on it shortly right ahead. It's going to be a great one out there. We'll see you guys later for the post-game show after the game. All right, thank you guys so much. Appreciate all your support. Let's hope there is a great take but an oozing ah moment. We'll find out if there's anything real. And a chance now to present your New Balance player in a game. For game number six, all eyes on it. Jimmy Butler. It's another great effort, opportunity in this one here. I love that Jimmy Butler is putting a lot of buckets in the range. You've got to give that one all credit in there, and that's just what you have to do. Believe in yourself and play for real. And exactly the true way to have that one all finishing out there, and that's a fair way to have it all pro season end. Racing down towards to the finals, and this will be his first one to take a lucky credit to get from the zones. That's going to be all for game for every game on the way. Here's Brown. Right towards the middle. The pass to Holiday. Gets another miss out there. Holiday has it over now to Jimmy Butler. Butler now finds it out of my own for the triple. That's off the rim and it's out for the rebound. Here's Brown. The spin move. Over and out of Porzingis. Fades. Up a shot. It's good. We're seeing it. Springing it back down by two six. This is not over yet. Well, they still got a lot of time left right now. I mean, let's play some more. We're seeing it. Gets it over now to Heisman. Fates. Trying to look his way off to Jimmy Butler. The cut. Looks it in. That's that good. We're seeing it. 13 points after Butler with the assist. Look how hard the transition is happening right now. And Terry Bochino is just like reaching in there. He's just trying to let that pull up. That's a mere miss by Boston. Bam on the bike now finds Bochino. Gives it over now to Jimmy Butler. For a takeover and a strong defensive effort puts in for Jalen Brown. 140 to go in the fourth. And a slam lookout run for Derek White. And Rogier will now have an error chance. Gives it off to Giro. He gives it over now to Rogier. Looks back to Giro. The cutoff. Step back for a two. That's good for a number take. Giro with 14 points and they're just making their way down to a one minute remaining. Brown. The screen for KP. For the triple. That's missed again. Let the time roll down. Miami Heat on its way down to finish the run in the postseason. Fans are on their feet at the Casilla Center. And Hero for three. Got it! Tyler Hero with the 17 points. And they're on electric fire. You know what you can say right now? That's what the team does. We all support. They don't really have to say now. They can definitely just keep that one and living it going and live the dream on to create it. So we see it right toward the wing. Right to Jimmy Butler. Butler tries to get over now to Rozier. The last chance here for Tyler Hero. He wants to finish it for the last point. And this will finish it. Tyler Hero finishes off with 19 points in game six. 
Last chance for Boston. For a finish, this will take in for Jalen Brown. And it's all over. Miami Heat are your Easter Conference Finals champions. On now to the finals. Well, it's a great night. It always is say, Great way to have a great win. And it's the ending on, moving on to the finals. Gotta believe it, they all die it again. 77 to 68 is your final score. What an excellent game this is. As we send you down to Alley LaForce for tonight's player of the game. Tyler, we know you are never shy. What gives you that confidence to let it fly when the pressure is on? Uh, I like taking a big shot. Uh, my teammates, my coaches, they all trust me, put me in the right spot. So I, sometimes I make a couple big shots here and there. Well, you give them a reason to trust as well. Congratulations. All right, Allie, thank you so much. And that about wraps it up for the conference finals complete. We have one more selection left. And we will be seeing you all for the NBA Finals for the last time. This is Terry Cruz along with Roy and with Sunny. Appreciate your support. Have a wonderful evening in Miami. All right, Terry, thank you so much. As of now, the upset is playing in for the Boston Celtics as Miami Heat going back to the finals to face against the Western Conference champion of the Dallas Mavericks since 2012, the last part of a game. And it's always exactly when you always have to think about now, that's what they all have to do for the better living at it to get right from here. Well, right now, it's been a long, wild game. Thank you, fans, for the Boston Celtics. We couldn't appreciate without you. Here's our different to total statistics. It's right now they're on the board to get right into work. It has right now 55 and 47, and 100% free throws has to be Miami Heat. They've done their best out of it for anybody's game that play there for the most. I know what they do hard, but they don't have to stand a chance effort if they get through it. Then it was five fast break points with points in the paint for 38 and 13 point second chance points for Boston Celtics. Then it was 14 points pinch points with 26 assists for Miami Heat. 12 offensive rebounds for Boston Celtics and then it was only 23 defensive rebounds with three steals, five blocks, and two turnovers for Miami Heat. 14 fouls were even. Four dunks remained on Boston Celtics. 14 biggest lead and time possession was 18:40 for Miami Heat. What a play effort this is. And Eastern Conference Finals MVP goes out to, you know the name, Bam on a bio. Congratulations. And for that being said, right now, time for you guys for three star players in a game. All for you, everybody. All right, thank you very much. I just really appreciate to everyone who is really going to take over now. And I got to say that in this moment, we got to start things big here. And this one is what they all have to believe on. Jason Tatum with the finish off with 18 points with seven rebounds and one assist. He made this one on seven out of 19 field goals in the range with only two three-pointers out of five. This one was really excellent to make the courtesy to give up and go ahead. Jason Tatum has finished off with two dunks and he only had made 20 performance effort. That's how you can make the pressure out of it go right away. And now for you, Clover, for number two. All right, number two is going to be Jimmy Butler. He made up with 19 points with four rebounds, only made one block, had made two steals and six assists. He made up with an easier look here for six out of 11 field goals with one three-pointer and a three three-pointer. Made that one easy enough with 33 performance effort and as your New Balance player in the game. And now for you, Mr. Son of Beast, your take. Well, my number one take must have been a closer range, but not even tips at all. I say Tyler Hero with 19 points. He made three rebounds, seven assists, and eight out of 12 field goals. Three three-pointers have made. Only had a 35 performance effort. He has been like a crush out to make the living job done right. They don't really expect to say Tyler Hero has been a rookie's all-time effort for playing in the best one and a half. And now he's ready to bring your team to the finals. This is where it's going to come down to this. So you'll have to stay tuned, and this game will start on July 6th. That's right, because that game will be underway shortly for soon enough. 
after the Stanley Cup Finals for the other side of it. But there's another game that's happening here for Game 6, so keep your eyes peeled from the other side of it for another game. Along with me, Set of Beast, along with DJ Beast and Clover, this has been a presentation of the Conference Finals of the NBA. We'll see you all later for the last postseason as the bracket will end here in 2024 of the NBA Finals. Stick around as we will be seeing them underway soon. And with that being said now, peace out for a while as the NBA Conference Finals of the 2K Sports Style. See you all again and have a great evening. Bye. See you again next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.